Substitution failure is not an error in C++, so what does it mean and how to use it? Hi everyone, this is Jan Wilczek from thewolfsound.com and in this video I would like to explain to you what is Finney. In short, in C++, when you have a template and the compiler tries to substitute a certain type as its template argument uh -huh. and it fails to do so, it does not issue an error. Only when, in the end, it leads to a compilation error, then we see that no viable function or class template were found. But this substitution on its own is not an error. In this video, we will explain Sfine on the basis of function overloading. In C++, we can have many functions with the same name, but different argument types. If in our code we call this function by name, then the compiler takes all these functions which are called overloaded functions and then performs overload resolution. It means that on the basis of the supplied arguments it picks the best version of this function to be called. Let's look at an example in code. Let's define a dummy function that takes a double and this function will only output its own signature. Now we can call this function with either a double or an int which can be implicitly converted to double without losing precision. Now let's run this and as you can see our function foo gets called twice. Here int got converted to double. Okay, but we can write a more specialized function for our int. Let's run this. Okay, as you can see for our second call of foo, the int version was picked. And that is because the compiler determined that it's a better version. So it could call foo with an implicit conversion of an int to a double, but since we have a more specialized function, a more fitting one, it picked the second definition. And that's exactly what compiler does during overload resolution. It takes all these functions here, foo, with different argument types and then determines the best one to call. Now with function templates it gets a little bit more complicated. As function templates are generalizations of functions, in the same way overload resolution rules for function templates are generalized overload resolution rules for functions. So in order to determine which function to call, compiler performs more steps. Let's say that we call again one function foo and then the compiler looks for all viable functions with this name, with this declaration. And this includes function templates. And a function template is not a function on its own. Only when we supply a template parameter, which means a type to it, then it becomes a full function. So uh, in the case of overload resolution, the compiler tries to specialize our function template for the given set of argument types. It prefers more specialized, more specific function templates and then takes all these specialized function templates and regular functions and picks the best one. And if it's possible, it prefers normal functions over function template specializations. Finally, if no suitable function is found or there is an ambiguity, then it issues an error. But in this process of trying to substitute the template arguments, if it fails at some point, it's not an error. So no error is issued. Only if no viable function can be found or two equally good functions exist, then is the error issued. Let's now look at an example. 
Okay, let's say we would like to create a function that behaves similarly to C++ accumulate. So we have uh, this type of signature. We take an iterator to the beginning, the iterator to the one past the last element and some sort of accumulator. And now we can output this function signature so that we know which function is called and then we write the proper algorithm. So here we read out the value that b points to, we add it to acc and finally we increment b. It's a very simplistic algorithm. Now let's test it quickly. I believe it should be equal to 10. Now let's just pass the necessary includes. And now let's run it. Okay, it compiles and runs successfully. Now what if we try to pass in not a pair of iterators, but a pair of pointers, for example, from a old style, let's say, array in the memory. We can do this by calling data on our vector and data returns the pointer to the underlying memory block. Now this should return again 10, but let's see what happens. Okay, and we got an error here. And what it says is that template argument deduction substitution failed. So one could argue here that substitution failure is an error in this case, but it is just because there is no other viable function that could be called. So as you can see, it failed to substitute int star, which is a pointer, pointer to a memory block, for an iter, right? And that is because int star does not have a type member value type which is a case for vectors. So now let's fix this by writing a version of this function that is capable of taking pointers. Aha. As you can see, implementation is the same as before. Now let's compile and run this. As you can see, it compiled and ran successfully. So what happened here? Here in this line, we passed the iterator to the beginning and the end of the vector a. So what the compiler did, it found a function called sum and managed to substitute iter for the iterator over a vector. So it got one function specialization that could be called, but it didn't stop there. It then tried to match the iterator against T pointer, but failed to do so because it didn't know how to treat this guy right here. Here we got a sfine substitution failure, but it was not an error because there was some other function here uh, function template specialization that could be called. So we're good to go here. So in this line here, we pass again the array of ints, a uh, pointer to a memory block. So what the compiler does, it finds two function templates and it tries to substitute here int star for iter, but it fails because as before, int star does not have a type member value type, but it is not an error, Sfine, substitution failure is not an error 
because there exists some other function that after, so in this case, function double specialization, that can be called with this argument. To round this up, let me just share with you one last example. Okay, so what we did here was to create a function that takes uh, pointers to ints and an int. And now let's see whether our code works. Okay, as you can see, uh, the compiler in this line, again, tried to match a pair of iterators against a function, but uh, it failed because, well, iterators are not uh, pointers to ints. Then it tried to match against a function template specialization, but again, iterators are not pointers, so it could not use our second version. And finally, it uh, managed to match it against this function template with a pair of iterators. So it failed two times, but did not issue an error because substitution failure is not an error. It then managed to run this code with the last template function specialization. Okay, now let's consider the next line. Here we have a memory block of doubles and we pass in the pointers to that memory block. And the best function that the compiler could find was the template specialization, which takes a pointer to a memory block. At the same time, it failed to substitute double star for the first version of our function template, the one with iterators. And it did not even consider our regular function because it takes a pointer to int. Finally, we have our call, which uh, failed only once. It failed for this version of the function template with two iterators. It succeeded for the function template that takes pointer to a memory block. But then again, there was a regular function which could be called with this signature. And the regular function is always preferred. So how can we use Sfine to our advantage? We can use it to explicitly state that we don't want a certain function template specialization to be used during overload resolution. In our case, we excluded all types that don't have type member value type in its definition. In C++20, this idea was replaced by concepts. So it may be more beneficial to use concepts instead, but I think it is still worth to know about the fact that the simple substitution failure is not an error, so that a template argument list could not be matched with a specific template, does not issue an error, and it makes up completely viable code. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please consider subscribing, hitting uh -huh. the thumbs up, and subscribing to my newsletter in order to stay up to date with my upcoming videos on C++. I wish you a pleasant day and take care.